Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming to watch this video today. I hope that everyone had a happy holidays and a lovely festive season, hopefully without pain. So today's video is going to be about skincare. I'm going to be speaking about the products that I use that are okay for eczema, dermatitis and combination skin. I actually have all of those so it's been very complex trying to find the products that have actually worked for my skin. I didn't used to have clean skin, I've still got some problems, I do have some breakouts. If you can see close up, I don't have the best skin but it has cleared up so much more than it used to. I have got eczema, I've got dermatitis, and I'm being investigated for MCAS. Um, I don't quite know much about it, but I do know that I break out in some strange rashes for no reason, and it normally comes hand in hand with a condition like that I have, which is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. With dermatitis and eczema, they are dry skin conditions and you can come up with dry patches and rashes. So I first got eczema when I was about 15 and I was taking my GCSEs. So I just broke out in eczema all over the place. I had it on my eyelids, on my cheeks. I had it all up my arms. I sometimes get, as you can see, strange rashes on my arm here, on my elbow. And well I went for tests with the dermatologist and I was diagnosed with eczema. But I only seem to get the bouts of eczema when I'm particularly stressed or very tired and not very well rested and also because I have food intolerances as well my skin does break out quite a lot so I went to have some tests done and I was seen by a dermatologist and he said that I have dermatitis as well as the eczema and probably the MCAS so I've been going for tests for that so I'm just waiting to hear back now. With all of those conditions which are basically dry skin conditions I also have combination skin on my face. I have acne prone skin, I have oily t-zone, I also get very oily above my eyebrows, my under eye which is most people is quite dry so I have to really look after my skin in the certain you know the different areas around it and it's taken me absolute years now when I tell you years I mean years since my teens to finally find the perfect skincare routine now a little disclaimer everyone's skin is different People with acne skin may not have dry patches like I do. People with combination skin may not have eczema. It's very complex. So please don't take what I'm telling you for gospel. Everyone's skin is completely different. So this is just my advice telling you what I have found from my mixture of skin problems. And I do hope that it helps you. Please share below what your skin type is and the, the products that you swear by. Have you found your holy grail yet? I'm quite lucky to say that I have and there's quite a few products. It's not just like one or two products, it's quite a few. It's a combination of few that I've finally come across and so here we go. I'm going to share them with you right now. So my AM routine for my skincare begins with cleansing. So the minute I wake up, I cleanse with this. It is called the Effacla Ohm Solaire Ultra and it's by La Roche-Posay and they're a domological brand. They are absolutely fantastic. I've used quite a lot of their products and I swear by them now. So basically I take, as you can see, <laughs> I've nearly finished. I use this religiously. So I just take a cotton pad. Sometimes I use, or I have got the bamboo reusable cotton pads, but I've just got some of this left over. So I will just wipe it over my areas. I won't go over my eyebrows and I won't go on my under eye because I don't want to dry out the under eye further. So I literally just wash my under eye. So I just gently, gently wipe my skin, cleanse it. It's water-based and it is for sensitive skin and it's got thermal water in it. So it does help even out the skin. It helps settle down dry patches. It helps settle down oil and it also cleanses the skin. Now, in the evenings, I double cleanse. In the morning, in my AM routine, I just use this before washing my face. Don't forget your neck, behind your ears as well, because there can be some dirt and oil buildup, so you don't want to break out there. I've just woken up, 
and look you can see there's actually dirt on my face now that's probably from my oil build up and my pillowcase as well don't forget to change your pillowcases often because we could we have you could have pollution in our hair if you've been on the underground you could have like dirt in your hair you know dust from the street this rubs all over the pillowcase and then it goes on our faces while we're sleeping at night so things like this can happen so don't forget to cleanse it's so important to cleanse your skin before you do any of your makeup routine cleanse and tone moisturize and then any the evenings double cleanse now I'm going to get to my evening routine after so I'm just going to speak about my morning care now is that if you have quite dry skin and you don't have oily skin at all or any kind of problematic skin another micellar water that I do really recommend is from Aven which is the O Thermal Aven Clay Clayonance O Micelle Water it's this one it's a bit of a mouthful I can just about say it all sorry guys so it's this bottle it's really really gentle on the skin so if you don't have combination skin and you don't have oily skin I do recommend that because it doesn't dry out at all and it cleans very very well and you can get it in places like Boots and Amazon and on in pharmacies as well so once I do that I will then go and wash my face just water lukewarm water splash my face and then gently pat my skin dry with a flannel okay so literally don't scrape it don't rub it especially if you've got dry skin you don't want to be pulling at your skin and making flakes come off but anyone really you shouldn't rub your skin just gently pat the next step of my morning routine would then be to moisturize so I use La Roche-Posay again the Ethical matte and it's an anti-pore sebum controlling moisturizer anti-shine and anti-enlarged pores so it comes in a little pod like this give it a good shake and then just squirt some on the back of your hand it comes out like um a gel like cream it's an unusual consistency it's quite watery it's white but it's actually more like a gel so i put this on the areas where i get oil build up because it's anti-shine anti-sebum oil control and it tones down your pores so I get a lot of pores here I, I get quite oily nose here I don't know why but I do so just pat it in now I get oily above my eyebrows as well so it's quite difficult because I get oily above my eyebrows by the end of the day yet right close to the hair I and inside my eyebrows I actually have the dermatitis and the eczema so I can't put this particular moisturizer inside my eyebrow so I just put it on top because I don't want to dry myself out even further so I'll just do it on the top there not on the under eye because you don't want to dry your under eye out so I do it underneath here because on my jawline apparently if you get spots on your jawline that's hormonal now the next step that I will do sun cream but I will cleanse I will put my moisturizer on and then I will put my sun cream on. So I use the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Protection Lotion. It's SPF 30. It's vit vitamin C rich with Camu Camu from the Amazon rainforest in Peru. And it says that it's for dull, tired, grumpy skin. So this stuff is fantastic. It smells absolutely incredible. It comes out like a cream. It's a lotion, just like most sun creams are. It's quite thick in consistency. So make sure that you put this obviously everywhere, everywhere that the sun will, will touch your skin. Oh, it just smells incredible. The vitamin C smell, it's like a burst of oranges and it's just so beautiful. But there's another smell in it and I think that that's the Camu Camu from the Amazon. And this one does help my skin from looking very dull and very just grumpy as they say on the, on the actual bottle itself. So there, that's my sunscreen section. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is my under eyes. Now, as you can see, I have got dark circles. I have a little bit of puffiness and I've struggled to find an eye cream that has been good for me until again I started using the La Roche-Posay products. So this is the cream that I use. It is La Roche-Posay, dermatologically approved it, and it is anti-fatigue, rehydrating concentrate and it has hyaluronic acid in it and thermal water, spring thermal water. Give it a good shake. 
After about 15 minutes of use, I actually notice that the puffiness goes down and my dark circles have actually got better. As you can see, it's a gel consistency. You don't need much, a little goes a very long way. So you just put it on your eyes, on your under eyes, gently rub it in. Don't forget to go to where you may get small lines. As you can see, I have lines and wrinkles here when I smile. So make sure that I get it right underneath. Pat it in, if there's any excess, just bring it around, bring it under and tap it in over this area as well. And then obviously another drop for your other eye. It's very cooling when it goes on and it really does work. I mean, I've noticed that my eye bags, the puffiness are a lot more reduced than they used to be. And my dark circles are actually beginning to fade. I have been told many times that you cannot get rid of dark circles, even if you get lots of sleep and you drink lots of water and you eat all the right foods, you can't get rid of dark circles. But this has actually proved them wrong. I have actually started to notice a difference and that's what helps me. If you want to give it a go, that I really hope that it helps you as well but please like I said earlier everyone's skin is different so it may not work for you but it works for me so next step so I will put this wonderful lip scrub on and it's from Colourpop and it's a coconut oil lip scrub set and it comes with a lip balm so on before I put lipstick on, so you just it's quite gritty. It smells incredible. It smells of real coconut water um, and coconut oil. It's not fake. It's all natural products. So I just rub a little bit on my skin. Then if you want to just dust off the excess bits of the scrub, which is sugar, you can. My lips are already moisturised now. So this is the lip balm that comes with it. It's called lippy balm and that's also from Colourpop. It comes in the set with the lip scrub. Again, it smells of beautiful coconut water and coconut oil. It's a very, very thick consistency. You don't need much at all. So I just put that on my lips. Okay, so that's my morning skincare routine. After I put on all of this skincare, so I will cleanse, I will wash my face, I will put on eye cream, I will put on my moisturiser, I'll put on my sun cream. Then after that, if I'm going to wear makeup, I will put on my primer. After you do your lip scrub and your lip balm, you can put your, you can like, some people wipe off the lip balm and then they put on their lipstick. I tend to just leave it on as it keeps my lips hydrated throughout the day. My PM routine is actually quite different to my AM routine. I obviously, by the end of the day, whether you're, you've worn makeup or not, your skin will have a build up of dirt from the day. And if you've got oily skin like me, I will have oil build up as well. And sometimes the heating or the cold from outside or if it's the summer, the sun can dry up my skin as well as make it very oily. So it's very confusing to have such combination skin with the eczema, dermatitis and with oil, acne skin.